Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, video of Manjaro Tricks and today I want to show you how to use the ZSH shell inside your uh, terminal and by default your terminal usually uses a bash shell and you of course load your bash rc file okay so how do you usually uh, start ZSH RC? normally you just type ZSH and if you if it's your if you are a first time user it will kind of show you this uh show no i just installed updates yeah if, it, if you are a first time user it will show you this uh screen or prompt yeah because there is no zshrc okay so uh if you if you start looking at this um you know this this is a very yeah, this is a very plain shell there's no configuration nothing here and actually uh, you want to configure it so that uh, it can start doing things for you in a very useful manner so uh, how do you configure it in Manjaro okay very simple okay it's very simple uh, uh, first thing first you need to install this thing called well maybe I'll just search it here okay you go to browse ZSH Manjaro very simple to remember okay so this is what you need to install you can do it through Parmac or pacman it's really up to you i'll just install it through Parmac, and then uh, it will install all of this here and you see this thing called zsh auto suggestions syntax highlighting completions blah 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 and the themes here all of these are uh, what manjaro will just uh, configure for you automatically so uh, it will include the zsh rc file okay so if we type in zsh again we'll still get this shell which is not very encouraging because uh you know i thought we we started our configuration file already right i thought we installed it started installing it so where is the zsh rc file thankfully under uh, parmac the files are like listed over here okay usually your manjaro zsh config this is a 2021 version of Manjaro. Probably the interface may change down the road, but there will be a, a part where it shows you all the files which are installed. Now you notice there's a ZHHRC in under etc skeleton. These are actually templates or skeletons and under root ZSHRC. So actually, if you run ZSH as root, you will be able to see the new theming automatically applied. So let me show you. Let's run SU, which will be running things as root, and you just type ZSH. And this, this is how you will uh, see the new ZSH, uh, ZSH uh, what do you call that? ZSHRC thingy. Okay, I think some 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 things are bugged here. I'm not really sure what, but uh, normally there it's supposed to show some nice icons for you. So let me exit this and clear. Okay, so uh, where do we where do we uh, get our ZSHRC file? We actually get it from uh, okay. Just now we seen etc skeletons, then uh, ZSHRC. I will copy it to my ZSHRC file. Okay, and then I start running ZSH and look, see, uh, the icons are appearing correctly. I don't know why it was a bit faulty just now. Maybe it needed a reload. I'm not really sure, but this is where you can uh, set your ZSH. Uh, you, you know that the ZSH is working correctly. If you go to uh, your ZSH RC, you can also put in your aliases here. So my favorite alias uh, is L equals to LSCF. Okay, I'll save and quit and I can source Z ZSHRC and then typing L will just give me what I want. Of course, you can copy all your aliases there, including your, your open form aliases. It should not be a problem. Uh, so you just go to your bash RC file, bash RC and ZSHRC. Okay, you can do this yourself. I'm not going to show it to you. All right, so I'm going to exit and it will it will be like that like so now question is okay question is how how then do you uh how then do you set your zsh as your default okay set zsh as default okay to set zsh as default very simple again uh you go to your xfc terminal 
Okay, if you want to set your ZSH as your default, every time you uh, click Control Alternate T, you will just uh, look at this command uh, under, under general, go to command, and, and uh, make sure you check the box, run a custom command instead of my shell. Uh, instead of uh, your bin bash, which is, this is what is normally run, you can go bin zsh. And then you just close, exit, and try again. And there you go, zsh, uh, ZSH is normally run now. Anytime you want to run bash, just uh, type in bash for yourself, and you'll be able to access bash again if you want to run bash okay if you want to undo the change it's the same place you just uncheck this box okay uncheck this box and you will run bash as per normal all right so that's all thanks for watching